Hello and welcome to the show. I'm here on Gran Turismo 5 for a challenge. Now, initially, this challenge was going to be involving a NASCAR. It doesn't work with a NASCAR. Uh, <laughs> you literally can't see a thing. I am going to be driving this Ford Mustang. Here we go. We'll get it up. Uh, somebody sent me this, this car. I can't remember who it was, but thank you very much for, for sending me this vehicle as it is incredibly cool. Uh, this is a 741 horsepower Ford Mustang and it's in orange and black, which is perfect. I do realise, well, now that uh, I have used silly Mustang, well, I say silly Mustangs, powerful Mustangs in the last two challenges. I'm not sure about the hood scoop, but um, I've used powerful Mustangs in the last two challenges. It wasn't intentional. I'm using this car purely for the orangeness of it. Um, so, yeah, this is the vehicle that uh, I'm going to be using and my challenge is to do a lap of the Nürburgring. I know the Nürburgring is a good challenging track. Um, I'm going to do a lap of the Nürburgring in the pouring rain at night because I, I well people wanted to see me drive a NASCAR at night around here, and that sounded quite fun. Unfortunately, you literally can't see a thing. I, I was hoping there's going to be like moonlight and starlight, and that sounds a bit queer. Uh, you get the ideas. I was hoping there's going to be some sort of light possible. But um, no, there's just absolutely nothing. It is literally a pitch black screen. Not that good for videoing, if I'm honest. Uh, it doesn't produce a very good video. Sure, I could go around and bump into walls and eventually stumble around a lap after 30 minutes, but it would just be looking at a blank screen with the occasional vague outline of something. So instead, I am going to use a car with headlights, um, and, and it should actually be possible. Uh, uh, because this car does have headlights, I am going to be making it rain very heavily, uh, just to, to make things interesting, really. Uh, time progression don't care about. We want it to stay the same. We'll have lots of rain. We'll start the surface water off at, say, 50% and we'll have that on realism and there we will go it's very very dark here at Nürburgring there's absolutely no lights around this track apparently and we shall get underway and I'm going to do a lap see how long it's oh light I saw a light I think that's my car though um but yeah we're going to see how long it takes for me to do a lap with this vehicle as this car is a premium car I shall be doing it from the cockpit view oh god I don't see very much already this isn't going to go very <laughs> Oh yeah, I can see this is going to be pretty tricky, as I've mentioned many times before. But in case you haven't watched many of our videos, or you haven't seen me attempt to fumble around the Nürburgring, I am not a massive fan of the Nürburgring, primarily because my memory is useless, and I can never remember what way the corners will go, so I'm not that experienced with this track, and I'm trying to throw a 700 horsepower muscle car race car thing uh, around a very wet Nürburgring. Uh, this is very scary, I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dear God, this thing, I, I just love this car already. It is absolutely mental. Uh, please get stopped though. It does have half decent brakes. I like that. I do like that about the car. Can we just go sit in fifth gear and just kind of cruise? No, I want to try and do a decent job and get a, a, some, some sort of a good lap time. You really cannot see very much. There we go. Get it in the right gear. God, I, I'm kind of trying that. Ooh, gear. Can't see the road, stupid hood scoop. Why is that there? I'm sure there is a perfectly logical explanation. It does restrict visibility. Uh, I'm sure it's something to do with getting air into the engine and making things run better. There we go. Totally scientific from me. Now, I know the corner up here somewhere. There is a right. There is a... Oh, God. Yeah, it's kind of a... What I say, new experience. I have raced... What did I race? Touring cars. Did I race touring cars at night on our factor? I think I might have done. I have raced at night, but not very often. As I've mentioned many times, I'm not a fan of endurance racing. I avoid it. Ooh, good God. Um, if I can. And I definitely, definitely won't be doing the endurance races on here. Oh, God, that's 130 miles an hour. And we are going very, very sideways. Come on. Come on. I saved it. I, a little bit of poo might have come out there, but it is all good. good <laughs> oh, I like this car. I really do like this car. Um... Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, endurance racing. Not a fan of endurance racing, so when games like offer day-night cycles, uh, I'm thinking of... Ooh, bugger it. Fall and throw. Thinking of one of the, the original grid. You could do the Le Mans, and you could... Uh, I think it went day and night in that. But I very, very rarely do endurance racing, if I can help it. So I haven't driven very often at night on any game. And it is certainly a different experience. Yes, of course, the track is exactly the same, but to your restricted visibility really does make things quite interesting. Jesus, get this thing slowed down. There we go. Yeah, as I was saying, I'm pretty sure I raced touring cars at night for fun at some point on our factor, and that was interesting. 
really cannot see. There is... Oh, bugger it. I've missed the corner completely. Ooh, I haven't spun yet. I have not spun yet, so this has already gone better than the practice. Uh, <laughs> run where I spam into first corner. Just, uh, I, I will often with all these challenges, I try not to actually like, complete them uh, before I do them, but I will make sure that uh, they are sort of plausible, like I tried with the NASCAR, to make sure that you could actually see something on the video, which you really couldn't. And so, of course, I, I loaded up this car just to, just to make sure that um, this would be useful for videoing purposes, as I've fallen off the road and I'm trying to fight with the car. Come on! Get back on the road! I know you want to be. And there we... No, I'm just going to understeer. Don't go in the wall! Damn it! Why do you not listen to me? Uh, <laughs> God. Yeah, this is quite fun. Also, I should point out, if you're hearing it in the background, I am driving on a steering wheel, and I have the, the flappy paddle, whatever buttons, uh, for the gear changes, so I do apologise uh, for that in the background. Okay, I don't know where we are on the track now. Are we some percentage of the way through? I'm not sure what the indicator on the side of the screen is doing. Why are you going up or down? I swear that was going up. Is that 64%? I um I I don't know I'm confused. I swear that number was moving. I will have to check the video. Uh, yes, it is moving. I'm not going completely crazy. Uh, <laughs> it is is that telling me the surface bugger it? I forgot where that corner was. Um, is that telling me surface water? I can't remember what we started it on. We haven't spun. We totally haven't spun. My steering wheel may have just tried to shake itself loose from my desk. I may have to uh, readjust that. Not something you normally see done. Uh, it comes to race. You don't normally adjust your steering wheel in the middle of racing. Well, to be fair, you don't normally clamp your steering wheel to a desk um, in the hope that it doesn't wander around. Oh dear, that's not gone to plan. Okay, so I think I might be locking the brakes up a little bit, or I'm just being a buffoon and not slowing my car down enough in time. Yes, yeah, so the number is going up. I haven't lost my marbles. Well, they might have already gone. But uh, gears. Gears are important in cars. Yes, I have learned that. Um, Right, I vaguely know where we are. Good God, I didn't do anything. Why did you do that? You must have hit a puddle or something. I can't see any of it because it is so blooming dark. Right, what speed are we doing? 80 miles an hour. That's fairly respectable, I think. Sort of. And, oh, I hate this corner. This is one of the most horrible corners on this blooming track. Or at least it is for me. It's the what? Oh, good God. Uh, too much power. <laughs> it's one of these corners where you go into it, where it's a very sort of wide entrance. The corner looks a lot faster than it is, and it tightens up on the exit. The amount of times I put a car in the barrier there is... Uh, I wouldn't want to say. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that corner there is very, very nasty. I do remember that one. This bit's quite fast, although I am kind of having issues at 80 miles an hour. Come on, Mustang. Don't go sideways everywhere, please. That would be... No, that's not very nice. Damn it. Get up on the road. Don't hit the wall. I haven't touched the wall yet. I think I've away with it. Just about. <laughs> yeah. This is, um, this is interesting, and I think there's obviously getting more surface water as we go, and uh, I'm having more and more issues with this car. Come on, get in a straight line. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not sure if this isn't harder than the tank car. Probably because this is a little bit faster than the tank car. Uh, <laughs> God, yeah, it's not easy to drive. Now, as with all of these things, I am running with as little assist as I possibly can on this game. I cannot turn ABS off, I've explained before because this basically either brakes work or brakes don't work switch. So it has the minimum level of ABS just so that the brakes actually function. It does not have any traction control. There's a big slide through there as well. Oh, good God. Now, can we get it stopped in time for a tightish corner? I think we probably... Good. Yeah, we can. We're going to go very sideways, though. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. No, it hasn't spun. It has not spun. It is being recovered. Ish. Yeah, nobody saw that. If I look behind me, I don't see anything. That's just a black screen. Okay. Maybe this car doesn't have a rear view rear window? I don't know. Can't tell. No, too dark. Uh, God, it is really properly dark in this game. Well, I do quite like that. Often when you play uh, any game that involves a day and night cycle, when it does go to night, it's not really that dark. This game, of course, is trying to be playable. Uh, so it makes, it makes sure that you can still see things. Okay, admittedly, you've got your few horror games that, I, well, I suspect. Anyway, I don't really play horror games. But, um, they, you know, they are very, very dark, very hard to see, like amnesia, that kind of thing. But uh, most games, you know, just don't make it too dark, so you can actually see what you do. GTA's pretty good uh, at this whole kind of level of... What the hell are you going that sideways for? Uh, <laughs> GTA is very, is very good at um, the kind of 
levels of darkness, it does make things look very, very dark at night. Now, you don't want to smash your car up too much because you want your headlights to be working. Still haven't spun it. Still haven't spun it. May have grazed the wall a few times, but I didn't spin it. I don't think I touched the wall that time either. Um, I've got off topic. I was talking about darkness. Um, yes, GTA is very good at a, a kind of a sense of darkness. If you smash up your headlights, you do kind of notice and you do like having your headlights on in that. However, this game is by far and away one of the best I've ever seen for pure levels of darkness. It is incredibly dark here. There's literally no lights at all. I mean, I guess it will probably depend on the track you're racing on. You know, Nürburgring goes through a forest and for the most part there wouldn't be many lights. Um, but yeah, the sense of darkness on here is really very, very good. And I like that. I, I like the extra challenge. I like driving in challenging conditions. Ooh dear, big slide. Uh, <laughs> God, can we get on the? Can we just stay in a straight line? Well, not the, this bit, but not be in the. Oh, why are you not listening, car? I don't want to be on the grass. I want to stay in a straight line to the corner and then go around the corner nice and safely with no wheel spinny lariness. That would be lovely. No wheel spinny. Okay. Well, I guess it listened. It just had understeery horribleness instead, and that is my new characteristics for cars. <laughs> Right, uh, now why have we got so much un- I don't know, it might be aquaplaning? I, I wouldn't have thought you'd be aquaplaning at 30-40 miles an hour though. You normally have to be going a little bit faster unless you're literally on a river of water coming across the track. We well, it could be, for all I know. Can't blame to see much. Uh, out of this cockpit. Yeah, I apologise if you're watching this in a low definition and just see blurriness and the occasional bit of light. I'm not quite sure how well that's going to work uh, in the video. I didn't think of that. Oh dear. Sorry, people with poor internet, if you can't really see very much of this video. Ooh, we're going for a bounce across the grass, and somehow we might get it actually slowed down for a corner. No, we're going to go... Ooh, we're going to build some sandcastles in the pouring rain. Ah, like an English summer then. And, ooh, I, could, I saw something. There is red. I don't know what that is. I'm investigating... Um, I don't know. What was red? What's red on my car? Brake light? If I brake... Ooh! Oh, no, wait, that's because I'm not in cockpit view anymore. Oopsie. No. Going through all the views now. If I break, ooh, I can see stuff. See, that's really cool. I like that level of <laughs> utter, utter darkness uh, <laughs> behind my car. Jesus, yeah, that's quite. Why is there, why is there red light? And um, I don't know. Uh, well, I'm, well, more of the question: Why wasn't the red light on earlier? I, I can understand how I got my tail lights on, but why weren't they on earlier when I looked behind? This is going to be a really, really bad lap time. Yes, you can beat it with a van. I know. Um, <laughs> good. God. Right, oh, the 10 minutes already. To be fair, the van wasn't driving in the pouring rain and didn't have an awful lot of horsepower. Oh, we've gone in the wall again. No! I have spun it. Bugger it. I was hoping I could do this without facing the wrong way. I did very, very briefly there. Never mind. Oh, we're just going to spin the wheels, are we? Oh, look, I can see light. I think daylight is coming. It's taken me so long, but it is <laughs> it's becoming morning. That would explain a lot. Now I can actually see, well, a little bit better. Ah, yes, I probably should have turned the time progression whatever off. I've only got a straight to go, and now we're going to have lots of understeery slidingness. What on earth was that car? You weren't going that fast. Um, no, I wasn't going that fast. Good God, yeah. <laughs> this is, I think, trickier to drive than the tank car. I'm not sure, though. It's it's a very tough uh, decision between them two. I think the tank... I can't even remember. What was the lap time of the tank car? I don't know why I'm asking you. You can't answer me. But, um, good God, yeah, this thing... Which is not easy. Not easy to drive at all. Okay, yeah, fine. We'll just go sideways around there. I don't think I touched the wall. I think I got away with that. Yeah, woo! <laughs> These things are mental. You just touch the throttle and suddenly, yes, I want to go all of the sidewaysness. And it will do. Although, when you do get your foot down in a straight line, which I am currently trying to. No, straight line. There we. No. Come on. I want to go to straight line. I want to see how fast we dare get this car to. And ooh, 140 is pretty scary. <laughs> uh, no, no, get in a blooming straight line. How hard is it, car? Well, I guess it's quite hard. It is a big, powerful muscle car. I'm not even sure if this thing isn't designed for drag racing. I don't really know anything about it. It's a show car. That's literally all I know. Uh, <laughs> and get stopped, maybe. Oh, we made a corner. We made what was. Uh, we could probably take that faster. Never mind. It is now becoming rather light. It has taken quite a while <laughs> to get around this circuit, but I'm going to do it in just about one very understeery, oversteery, all of the steery pieces. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. I guess it is probably aquaplaning, well, of some sort. 
Oh, no, we're just not going to turn at all. Hey, there we go. We made it. There's much wheel spin. <laughs> oh, dear. And now it is vaguely daylight as we cross the finish line. Yeah, that took quite a while. <laughs> oh, dear. I may have dislodged the front bumper a little bit. Just a, a little tiny bit. Nah, you can fix it with duct tape. Duct tape fixes everything. Oh, and a hammer. You need a hammer as well. Um, anyway, there we go. <laughs> that is it uh, <laughs> for this rather rain-sodden lap of the Nürburgring. I managed to get around it without too many incidences. Well, yeah, there were some understeering into a wooly bit. But other than that, it was fairly successful. It's good fun. I do love driving silly cars in silly conditions. It's always a good challenge as we roll down the hill. How fast did I get the last car doing this? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it was good fun. It's a shame about the mass cars that this is just so unbelievably dark that uh, we can't do it. But I gave it a go with a silly, well, fairly silly muscle car and correctly coloured muscle car. Anyway, that is it for today. So thank you very much for watching. If you have challenges you would like to see me do, then please do leave them in the comment section. I'll have a look through and our favourites will be in a video at some point. However, until next time, goodbye. Well, that celebratory donut has not gone to plan. Hold on. We can fix it. Things can be fixed. Things can be... There we go. That's more like it. Proper celebratory donut for Mustang completing lap. <laughs>